Hey, Paul. Dig that wild pile of girders. Ringo, you clod. That's the Eiffel Tower. And speaking of Eiffels, look at that bit of French femininity. Oh, she's just one of them Paris mannequins. Mannequin? Nothing. She's a girlikin, if ever I saw one. Come on, let's follow her. Look, there she goes. Bonjour, madame et monsieur. Welcome to the house of Armand. You are about to see a preview of the season's newest creations. Heck, it's just a blinking fashion show. Oh, let's stick around for some laughs. Our first stunning creation is called Springtime in Paris. Looks like spring is busting out all over. <laughs> yeah. Our next breathtaking creation is a tribute to the French Revolution entitled Bonaparte. Bonaparte is right. They ought to take it out and bury it. And now, ladies and gentlemen... Help! Police! Our designs are missing! Qu'est-ce que c'est? Someone has stolen the patterns for our entire spring collection. Tout à l'heure, we are ruined! It must be the work of that notorious fashion bandit, Jacques Le Zipper. Voilà! A most suspicious-looking character. Who, me? He may be a character, but he's no fashion thief. He is right, monsieur. Jacques Le Zipper is tall and wears a a beret with a long black cape. Hey, there he goes now. Come on, Ringo, let's nab him. Behind you for war. Far, far behind. <laughs> yeah. Come back here, you blooming petticoat pilfrey. Designs, you have recovered them. Monsieur, you have saved the house of Armand from ruin. For that, I will model a new outfit in your honor. Better make it out of uh, asbestos. Yeah! Sacre bleu! I say three cheers for the red, white, and blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now everyone ready for the sing-along? This is the part of the show in which all you people at home join in and sing right along with us. Now this first song starts off with a real bang. Hold everything, George. Did I just hear you say this song starts off with a bang? My very words. Well, if you really expect the people at home to join in, you first ought to put them in the right mood. Yeah, the right mood. Certainly. You've got to create the proper atmosphere. Here, I'll show you. Well, what do you think? I think you flipped your blinking wig. Well, you said this next song starts with a... Bang! <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you wouldn't rather do smoke gets in your eyes? <laughs> yeah. Sing, people. Well, that was pretty good, but I expect you to do even better on this next number. Just stand right up and shout out the lyrics. Are you ready? Hold it, George. Ain't you forgetting something? Forgetting something? The setting, I keep telling you, you've got to put the audience in the proper mood first. Well, the last time I listened to your suggestion, we were nearly blown to smithereens. So, no, you're exaggerating. Smithereens is a good ten miles from here. What you say? Give us one more chance, eh? Hey? Well, it's all right. This next song is one that really takes off. Take off, you say? Yeah, I think I've got just the right thing. Contact! Well, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Let's save it for when we do the flight of the bumble brain. Sing, children. Ah, 
Hollywood. Isn't it wonderful? I heard someone say once that behind the phony, glittering tinsel of Hollywood, you could find the real tinsel of Hollywood. George, George, what are you doing? Can't step on a crack. It's bad luck. <laughs> yeah. Since we've been out here, I've found that practically every great Hollywood star is superstitious. What do they do about it? Oh, they go to people who tell them what's in their future so they can avoid having bad luck and they don't step on cracks. Have you ever seen Marlon Brando step on a crack? He is not just kidding. Are you George Harrison? That's right. Are you all right, George? Yes. This gentleman pulled me out of the way just in time. How did you know that... That's my job. I'm the lucky wizard, soothsayer to the stars. Mr. Lucky Wizard sees the future. Fleetsayer to the slur... Star forder to the steeds. Uh, do you read palms? No. The bumps on your head? No. What do you read? Money. Here's a Liverpool bus token. How far will that take me? To the end of the line. Ooh, a broken mirror. That's seven years bad luck. Nonsense. I don't believe in silly superstitions. Curses. I don't believe in bad luck either. If something's gonna happen, it happens, that's all. Well, I don't know. I sort of believe in superstitions. But I think we ought to go to the police about Mr. Lucky Wizard. There's something crooked about him. That does it. Here's a police station. Let's go in and report the wizard. boys. We've been trying to get the goods on him for years. Well, he cured me. I'm not going to be superstitious any longer. As long as the four of us stick together, we'll always have good luck. Knock on wood. On wood. <laughs> yeah.